Good morning. <sighs> My name is Victoria I'm with Embodiment LLC. My mission is to support people to integrate body, mind, spirit, to live life more fully. This is a uh, this is a um, practice that I offer every Thursday morning. You can find out more about it um, in the notes. But today we're going to be exploring the power of the yawn. So just let yourself think about what you know about the yawn. I find that most people think about the yawn being uh, a movement of the face. However, the yawn is one of the most basic and foundational powerful tools that you have to enliven your whole body and to soothe your nervous system. That's what it's designed for. The incredible thing about yawns is that when we yawn in the morning as the light is coming up and when we yawn during the day, the combination of the yawn and the chemicals it releases in our body and the light outside actually brings serotonin, creates serotonin in our system, which wakes us up. When we yawn as we're heading into bed or during the nighttime, those same chemicals because of the darkness outside, create melatonin in our body that help us rest and digest. So this morning, I'm just gonna offer this, this 15 minute movement guide, guidance. And we're gonna be playing with the movement sequence of the yawn. So I invite you to not worry about looking at me you can be laying in bed, you can be sitting in a chair, you can be sitting on the floor, laying on the floor, you could be standing, you know, at the kitchen sink and doing dishes and you can still yawn. So let the yawn just start naturally. <sighs> let it follow with a little um, audible sound, an audible sigh, audible sound. <sighs> because you are at home, no one can see you. I invite you just really to let yourself feel that yawn. Oh. Move through your jaw. Oh. Into the back of the neck, feel how it connects with the top of the spine, where the spine connects with the skull. Can you feel the pressure and release and the vibration of the yawn moving down into your torso? Oh, oh. See if you can feel its effect on your rib basket. Oh. 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 I'm getting a little ahead of myself. And notice that I just did something that we often do. I find that we often stifle our yawns because there's something in our culture about letting our bodily, um, uh, our, our natural body responses flow. I myself had a, had a story that a teacher when I was probably in third grade um, and I yawned and I remember the teacher saying, Miss Day, am I boring you? Now, you know, the answer may have been yes. And it also may have been, 
I hadn't slept well or, you know, what, whatever. I did. My body needed to yawn. Maybe something had happened to stress me and I was trying to naturally settle myself. However, you know, that stuck with me that you're not supposed to yawn because the other person is going to get upset. Right? So, and, and I understand there are places where socially you're, you're wanting uh, to present a certain face, but, but right now, I hope that you are sitting somewhere or standing or laying somewhere where you can just let this yawn move in its full movement sequence, right? initiated by the mouth, through the throat, into the rib basket, the lungs, down into your diaphragm, into the belly, oh, down the spine, maybe just maybe all the way down into your pelvic floor. So that is your traditional mouth initiated whole body yawn. And if that's enough for you, I say stop this video right now. Check out other things I have to offer. I do an, a lot of different types of somatic movement. Would love for you to join me in person or on Zoom. But if you're wondering, how can I turn this into a whole body yawn? Then stick with me. So as you noticed, sort of naturally, as I was yawning, oh, oh, it moved out into my arms. But I'm going to invite you to let yourself notice what is the movement of the yawn. It doesn't have to be done just by the mouth. The yawn is based on the very foundational movements that all uh, creatures, beings um, that move do, which is growing and shrinking. And the yawn is growing and shrinking with a certain quality in the phrasing, right? There's this <sighs> So let yourself feel that in your hands. Opening them up, letting them get tight, and then uh, and see, just like you did with the mouth, into the jaw, into the back of the spine. See if you can let that sequence into your wrists, into your elbows. into the shoulders. Where does it go from the shoulders? Uh, let's just ask yourself play. Does it go from one shoulder to the other? Uh, does it go up into the head? Or does it also catch the yawn from the mouth? And sequence down the back. I got a nice little adjustment there. Down. <sighs> so just take a moment and check in. And I'll put the link for that exploration. Check in is basically noticing your breath and how it's flowing, where it's flowing, noticing the weight of your body being supported, feeling your own weight. Does your, does your upper body feel lighter or stronger, more present? <sighs> and the check-in is also about just noticing where and how you are in this moment. So just notice upper body, lower body. Okay. Okay. And we have about four minutes left of this video. 
I'm going to invite you to bring that same idea to your feet. And although you may not be able to see my feet, or you might if they end up in the camera range, I'm just going to invite you. In fact, I will. I'll put it up there. I'll say, just let your foot do the yawn, just like your hand did. Stretching your toes, widening your metatarsal arch. And let that yawn oh, sequence up through your ankles into the back of your knee, letting your knee open and close, just like we did in the elbows, up into the femoral joint. Some people call it the hip joint. Oh. And again, letting yourself notice it initiates at the foot. It's a movement sequence. Oh. <laughs> All right, the movement sequence that goes up into the ankle, into the back of the knee. And maybe it rises up into the, the femoral joint. And seeing if you can notice or imagine, does it move up into your pelvic bowl? Do you feel that yawn sensation? Oh, fill up your pelvic bowl. Does it rise? To me, maybe it rises to meet the mouth yawn or the arm yawn, the hand yawn. Or does it simply flow up and go back out the other leg? And this brings the final of the six uh, what my mentor Susan Apotion calls the portals. There are six portals of in, where we take information in and information goes out. It's the face, it's where we started, the hands, the feet, and the pelvic floor. And so where I'm going to end today is just inviting you to explore this idea of being able to yawn with your pelvic floor. And just letting it, it find a way to open, stretch open, and then just release. We carry a lot of tension in our pelvic floors. Just like our feet, they carry our weight. But then there's this added piece of, of sexuality, of recreation of creation um, to where we let go of our toxins for the most part. So just letting yourself play with the yawning of the whole body, the power of the yawn. I look forward to seeing you in person or on Zoom for any of my upcoming events. I hope you will check my website out at Embodiment LLC. I hope if you enjoyed this video, you will subscribe. I really do love moving with you. Remember, we are all in this together. <sighs> my health resonates with your health. Thank you.